What's up, YouTube? That intro, though. Anyways, NFL schedule has just came out. This is the moment we all been waiting for. We all have been waiting. We got to see who we're going to play. The NFC West and the AFC East. So we saw that we're this, you know, we're gonna play those dudes. We know we got the toughest schedule, and now the actual schedule is camped out. Now I'm not gonna go over and say who are gonna, uh, who are we going to win and lose. I don't know the situation like that. I don't know what's going on. I'm not gonna go off the bat right now. But as I'm looking at the schedule, nine and seven minimum. That is what we should be. No question, no bullshit. I don't care what nobody says. Nine and seven minimum. We can't be eight and eight again. We experienced that shit for two uh, in two thousand eleven and two thousand ten. I don't want to go through that eight and eight bullshit no more. All right. We can't go through that four and twelve, five and eleven, two and fourteen bullshit no more. I'm looking at the schedule. I know we have the hardest schedule. I know it's gonna be tough. I know right off the gate we got some hard games, and I know later in the uh, later in the season we're gonna have some hard games. But guess what, guys? Guess guess what? I don't give a fuck. I give zero fucks about that. People keep coming up and tell me, my friends, people uh, you know that watch football, keep telling me the same thing. Oh, you guys have the hardest schedule. No way in hell. Fuck you. Those two seasons we went eight and eight. People are like, oh, your schedule was easy. Oh, well, it ain't easy. It's hard as fuck, and I'm happy that it is. You got to beat the best to be the best. How are we supposed to go to the playoffs and play easy teams and go in the playoffs and go get or go against a team that's hard as hell and don't win that? So if we could beat teams on this schedule and go nine and seven, ten and six. Oh, no doubt we're going to the playoffs, and I know we can beat these teams in the playoffs because we're going to be playing the hard teams right off the bat. So if we can beat these hard teams, imagine what we could do in the playoffs. You know what I'm saying? I'm hyped. You can't tell. I'm, I'm hyped as fuck. I wish the season started tomorrow. Oh, man. It's going to be a crazy year, y'all. Very, very crazy year. Thought I heard something. Never mind. All right, let's. I'm just gonna start off with the first game right off the bat. Bam. Uh, we going to the Jets. All right. It's kind of hard to predict if we gonna win this game, but this is all I gotta say. We gotta get revenge. We played Geno Smith, and this nigga put career numbers on us. We got blown out in, in the game at MetLife Stadium. This ain't going to happen again. That's all I can say. It's not going to happen again. Like I said, we're going to win or we're going to lose. Can't predict it right now. Wait later on till we get draft picks and off seasons and see who's injured and who's not injured. But that's not going to happen again. It's not. This has to be a revenge game. We have to go to their place. And whoop their ass. That's how I see it. Now, there are some disadvantages about this one game. One, we don't know if it's Geno Smith or Michael Vick. Because if we're playing Geno Smith, you know, the scheme is going to probably stay the same. If we're playing Michael Vick, oh, the whole, that, that, that's, we have to have one dude spying on Michael Vick at all times. Because we know what we, he can do. Another thing. It's kind of iffy about this game. It's on the Eastern time zone. Raiders have not won a game on the Eastern time zone since 2009. Shit. We know how we play on the East Coast. And it's not good. We usually get blown out when we play on the Eastern time zone. So, let's, let's just hope... Sorry, South Park is on. Anyways, sorry for that interruption. I apologize. I apologize for it. But it's on the Eastern Time Zone, and that that, that got to be scratched, like shit. Like we haven't been, 
went in there. We haven't even won since 2009. But again, that logic comes in my head and I don't give a fuck. I want to prove everybody wrong. Last year, we couldn't win after, after the bye week. We never won games after the bye week. Bam. We did it against the Steelers. Let's do it now. Let's do all that stuff now and let's win this game. All right, so I looked at the schedule. All right, I, I, I like that the bye week is in week five, so it's early. I wanted it later on, but oh well, what can you do? All right, now I'm going to start complaining about the schedule a little bit. All right. You're telling me all these free agent moves that we made, all these free agent moves that we made, we get one primetime game? We get one primetime game against the Chiefs. One. I expected two Monday night games minimum. There's no Monday night games on this shit. Really? But you'll give the Broncos half of the primetime games in their schedule. Just fuck you. Just fuck you. No, no primetime games. Oh, also forgot to mention. I mean, I didn't forget to mention. But this one is pissing me off as well. Week 17. I don't think y'all noticed, but I've been tracking it for a while. In week 17, you always play your division rivals. It's always your division rivals. But this is how it's gone. All right. You play Kansas City, then San Diego, then Denver, then it regulates like that, right? So what I don't get is, just me, all right. Mm. Okay, let me, 2010, our last game is against the Kansas City Chiefs, cool. 2011, our last game was, was, was against, sorry, was against the Chargers. Then the very next year, they make us play the Chargers again. I don't like that. I don't know why it's like that. It should be like... One year you play the Broncos, one year you play the Chiefs, one year you play the Chargers. You know? Last year, we played the Broncos at home. All right, so that's last year, so I'm not worried about that. But what I'm saying right now is that should change now. For this year, it should be either the Chiefs or the Chargers. It should be one of those two teams. But no, they looked at the Broncos schedule and said, how can we make this even easier for the Broncos to win. Oh, I got it. Some one dude in the room was like, why don't we let the Broncos play the Raiders again? Week 17, last game of the season. Only let's put it in Denver. Really? Like, y'all really just trying to make this shit easy for them. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say that, but the last game you really gotta put us under there. Like we ain't shit. Really? Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you, NFL. Fuck just all y'all in there. Really? We have to play these dudes again? That should be Kansas City or San Diego. I don't know, but it shouldn't be twice a year play the same team at the end of the year. Just me, though. Just me, though. But other than that, besides that little rant, I looked at the whole thing. Yes, it's the hardest schedule. I don't care. I really do not care. Every time somebody says it's the toughest schedule, I just go like, so the fuck what? It, it, so, what, 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 is this supposed to be easy? Let's go out here. Let's whoop some fucking ass. Let's spank these bitch ass motherfuckers. Let's teach everybody in the NFL that we aren't old veterans that can't play anymore. I'm tired of that shit. They didn't give us any credit when we brought these dudes in. And this schedule is basically like a slap in the face to every Raider fan. Once primetime game. I expected two Monday night games minimum and you hand me a Thursday night bullshit game against the Chiefs? Fuck you. Just fuck you all the way. Now, I believe we are going to make playoffs. I'm going to say that. Nine and seven minimum. 
I don't want to go eight and eight. I know some people say eight and eight, nine and seven. I don't want eight and eight and eight anymore. I don't. I really don't. I saw that two years in a row. In 2010 and 2011, I'm tired of it. It's time for the winning season right now. This schedule is hard. So the fuck what? It might be hard, but guess what? The Chargers are playing the same people we are. The Chiefs are playing the same people we are. And the Broncos are playing the same people we are. Now, this is what I don't get about the NFL, right? This, this is just me. This is what I don't get. Last year, we played against the NFC. We played against the NFC East. That division last year was terrible. Cowboys terrible. Redskins terrible. Giants terrible. The only competition really was the Eagles. And we played the AFC South last year. The Texans wasn't shit. Jaguars wasn't shit. Titans were in and out of there but end up not being shit. So for all three of these teams to get in the playoffs off of these guys, and now they're playing a harder schedule with the NFC West and the AFC East, and people are still predicting three teams to go in the, to go in the playoffs and the AFC West, and we're not in there? Okay. All right, y'all. Y'all keep sucking Peyton Manning's dick while you're over there. Just keep riding his dick until, you know, you just rupture something. But anyways... Side note, apologize for that little side note. I like the schedule. It's tough in the beginning, and it's going to be a little tougher in the end. But I don't care. Let's come out the gates swinging. Let's beat these motherfuckers. Let's kill these niggas, all right? <laughs> kind of got insane at the end. I said, let's kill these niggas. But anyway, that's about it for me, y'all. I'm not going to really predict anything until, like, the season gets here, and then I'll start predicting and see... Who I think we're all gonna face. I mean, who we're all gonna be. All right. Like, comment, subscribe. Raiders underscore 1995. If y'all don't know, follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter. All right. Thank y'all for the 600 plus subscribers. Really appreciate that. Hopefully, it gets to a thousand. All right. Thank you again, Raider Nation. Peace out. I'm gone. Only one nation. Raider Nation.